Hey Jen, today we're gonna to check out an entirely new company for me, one that came straight from the recommendations. And you know, a lot of times you guys recommend companies, I'll like Google them to put them into my spreadsheet and then I get followed them around on the internet. And this is one that has been all over my Instagram. And you can see from my high tech sorting system, we're looking at Tailored. So I am a self-professed huge fanboy of Bonobos and Tailored from what you guys have said in the comments is a way to get Bonobos quality Bonobos fits, but at a lower price, which is very intriguing to me. I do like their aesthetic and I have lots of stuff to unbox and try on today. And then we'll talk about them from there. The first thing though, is as I was ordering these, I kept putting styles into my cart, but I couldn't get the correct style to be in this. So I was putting in, you know, shorts in a 30, 34, but when I'd go to my cart, they were like a 29, 30. So there might be wrong sizes in here. And I, I swear I spent 15 minutes on the website just trying to get the right sizes in there. So that was very frustrating off the first one. So before we even get into the unboxing, I was a little bit frustrated there. Good signs though is they do use Quiet Logistics and Shopify. That's usually a good indicator for companies that it's gonna be easy to shop there and then also to make sure you get your stuff. So I ordered these, they were, it was here within two days, free shipping, that's great. Free returns as all these companies are. And so uh, make sure you subscribe to learn about the best men's wear on the internet. Give a thumbs up for tailored clothing and we'll flip over to the unboxing and get all the stuff tried on and talk about it. See, I would never order an extra small. That's not my size. I thought maybe it was a glitch on the website, but guess not. So one minor, one not so minor. Um, it's nitpicky, but I would prefer to have the prices on this sheet because I can't remember what any of them were. And I can reference the email, but it's nice when it's all on this one paper. And then I really prefer when return labels are at part of the box. So when they ship it, you have the return label right here and you can send it right back. One of my favorite things about Bonobos is that is they, they want the returns process to be super simple and super easy, so they put the return label in there. And so, uh, just a minor thing as we unbox here. You know, I wouldn't have ordered a 28, but I really like the way that the 28 fits. I'm usually between, I'm like right between a 30, 31, and then, you know, like right now, I'm a little bit closer to like a 32. But uh, the 28, I'm really liking the way this fits. Fabric feels nice. Um, it is tailored. Nice inseam there. Hmm. The inner mesh lining feels fine. That's where I can feel that it is a little bit too small. I'd have to go with a 30 on this. I can feel it kind of sliding up on my butt. But uh, really digging these ones. It's a nice blue, too. I also would never get an extra small shirt, but I'm really surprised that it kind of fits, which probably isn't good. Like, I think of Brock as wearing an extra small. He's short, he's small, 
but for me, I always need a medium for sleeve length, but the extra small is long enough on me where I usually wear a medium. That's that's really interesting. And the torso fits great. I would, for a t-shirt like this, I would always get a small to fit my torso, and the sleeves are kind of short. But, uh, you know, the chinos, 31, 34 has always been my Bonobo size, and it's I like that it fits really well here. However, the chino fabric reminds me of a lot. It's right between J. Crew and Good Threads, which Good Threads, those are like $30. J. Crew, you find those for like $40, $50, depending on the sale. And so they're, they're right in line with that. They are not Bonobos quality. I know that for certain. I wear Bonobos nearly every day. They're not quite there, but it's as with everything, you get what you pay for. They are a very nice soft twill. I really like that I can get them in my size and in, in my cut. But I think to say that they are Bonobos quality would be a lie. All right, look at that. Size 30 waist. Great inseam on here. It's a nine inch inseam, right? Nice fit, not too much excess in the legs here. Same exact brush, brush twill as the chinos, but uh, mm -hmm. <coughs> and I don't know that this ever existed uh, before Bonobos, this, this pocket lining, that's very Bonobos. Medium slim on me, that's about my size, always, fits well. And then what I always like to do with new brands like this, these are a 31 size waist, and so uh, it's a little bit more of a comfortable fit than the 30, especially right now, I haven't been uh, out running as much as normal, and so I think I would go with a 31 in the future, the inseam's the same. Uh, there's a slight bit more room in here, but uh, I'm probably not gonna have any butt creasing, which I would in the 30. The shirt is kind of odd. I don't know how well it'll translate to the video, but it's a very busy pattern. The mix between the red and the blue has this um, almost like a snow effect inside of the weave. And I don't know if that's a function of the design or the shirt itself. It feels like a pretty nice shirt. It feels like something I would get from like Amazon's button down line, except it's not quite as nice because those are Pima cotton. Uh, not really impressed with the shirt at $55. I like that you can get a medium slim fit, but uh, the pattern and the fabric itself leaves a little bit to be desired. But I am interested in checking out this white button down. The problem is that it came in an extra small which is what it said in my cart, but I could not get the medium to go into my cart. The Oxford cotton is extremely nice. This is right in line with what I'd expect from J. Crew and Bonobos to a degree. It has a very Bonobos feel to it. And so if you can get your size like slim into the cart, I think this is absolutely worth it because there's really nothing better than a great value in an Oxford cotton button down and every guy should have four of them in their closet white, blue, gray, and another white one. And look, this is another one, a 2930 in the pants. I could not get the 31, 34 into my cart. I was just kind of hoping uh, that it would work out. But these feel, the cotton feels the same as the other chinos. I'm sure they would fit the same if I got the right size. Uh, the pockets in here feel nice. They are the lined pockets, as you see with the, uh, with the back. That's usually one of the, the biggest places that I can feel the company's cheaped out on is if they use some sort of like lower quality pocket lining. The problem comes in though is that at $75, you're like 10 bucks away from Bonobos wash chinos. And when Bonobos runs their sale, you're gonna get them under there. So you can get the fit of Bonobos in these pants because you can get your size in. And that's one of my biggest issues with some of the standard brands like J. Crew is I can't always my size is not always in stock. When I go to Bonobos, pretty much it's always there. And for Tailored, they had them in stock, but I couldn't get them into my cart. You know, the fabric feels nice. It's it's there's definitely it's definitely one step below Bonobos chinos. Uh, but if you've got some sort of thing against Bonobos, then this would be a good alternative. The shirt feels okay. I'm much more happy with the Oxford cotton button down than I am with this standard shirt. It is $55. I think that's I think I could just feel that it's a $55 shirt versus what I'm used to in some of the more they're not like, they're not premium brand, like a, a button down shirt at $88 to me isn't a premium shirt. Those are much more expensive, but it is a higher end shirt, which I prefer. I still, in fact, today I'll probably wear 
one of my Bonobo shirts that I purchased in 2012 that I still wear frequently because if you buy it nice, you wear it for a long time. And that's what I'm a little bit concerned with tailored, so it'll take some time to figure out how these wear over time. So let's do a quick rundown on tailored, quality, fit, style, value, and overall experience. Quality is good, I'm happy with that. The fit is excellent, and the fact that you can get uh, a wide range of sizes is very powerful. They do have these things in inventory. They fix the, the cart option. The style is like close to J. Crew. It's not quite there, but I do like the styles that they have. The Oxford cotton button down is a great option. They've got some just, you know, great khaki chinos, navy chinos. So I do like the styling of Tailored. For value, they do fare pretty well. $75 for the chinos feels a little bit steep for what you're getting, although you do get great fits. But then for the shirts, I think those are priced very, very well. So on value, I'd give them about a four out of five stars. An experience, also four out of five stars. Fast free shipping, which is great. They're built on the Shopify platform, so it's really clean to check out and things. Um, actually, I probably have to take a star away because I forgot about the, uh, the fit thing. I do wish that they had return labels in the box. Taylor does get an extra half star because their return process online, while it's not in the box, they do have a portal where you select the reasons why they're returning, which is a very strong indicator that they're looking to improve their product and figure out why people are returning. So it's easy to do returns, it's just an extra step on there, but I think it's worth it. So experience is a three out of five stars. So that is tailored clothing. Uh, happy to answer any questions below. You can also reach out at the underscore Cavalier on Twitter and Instagram. Let me know if there's other companies like this that you want to see as always. And then I'll put links in my description. I have a brand tracker in there, which is where I pull brands from. And that's tailored came right from there. Uh, Podcast is in there, all kinds of stuff. And so love to uh, hear more from you guys anywhere you find me. Until next time, gents, this is the Cavalier.